meet Natalie. She is a 24-year-old lady admitted to the hospital with pyelonephritis. She also has type 1 diabetes. Meet Bobby. Bobby is the junior doctor who was looking after Natalie. Natalie's capillary blood glucose was 14, but there was no ketones. Natalie was off her food. Bobby has rightly withheld her regular Humalog Mix 25 insulin and prescribe variable rate intravenous insulin infusion with substrate solution dextrose natalie was feeling better however at 7 pm natalie's blood glucose level was 2 bobby has reviewed natalie he stopped insulin infusion and treated her as per hypoglycemia guidelines he also asked the nurse to monitor blood glucose levels natalie's blood glucose levels were recorded overnight as 8 10 and 18. Early in the morning, Natalie was found drowsy and less responsive. Blood ketones and blood gas confirmed DKA. Bobby. What have you done well? That's right. You have stopped Natalie's IV insulin and treated her hypo as recommended in hospital guidelines. Bobby. What would you do differently? Yes. You did not ask the nurse to restart IV insulin when blood glucose level was above 4. Bobby. What is the half-life of IV insulin? It is only, 5 minutes. So, never stop intravenous insulin in a patient with type 1 diabetes, for more than 20 minutes, as this would put them at risk of DKA. If intravenous insulin, was stopped to treat hypo, check blood glucose levels every 15 minutes. Aim to restart intravenous insulin infusion at a lower scale, once blood glucose level is above 4.